I'm Ruben Train, President of Island Pilot. Today we're going to show you both the one stateroom and two stateroom layout versions of the Island Pilot 435, our exciting crossover trawler. This is the deck house of the one stateroom version. You'll notice right away that it is wide, roomy, and expansive with plenty of light and 360 degrees visibility. To starboard, we have a L-shaped settee, a high-low coffee table dining table that will go down out of the way. We have a pair of ottomans that will come out and give you extra seating when you have uh, dinner for six. And the settee converts easily into a queen berth. On the port side, we have a full electrical panel with access for all of our AC and DC requirements. Forward to that, we have wine lockers, room for wine and glasses. Forward to that is the entertainment center. We're really excited about our chairs. We use sports car styled custom made chairs that we have made for us in California. They're extremely comfortable, they're adjustable, they lean backwards, forwards, they go up and down. One nice thing about the one stateroom version is we have a port side deck house door which gives us access to the uh, wide side decks. And over to starboard we have the helm. The helm is based on a Raymarine E120 screen uh, interfaced with the Raymarine autopilot, the Raymarine VHF, GPS, and we have full electronic instrumentation for the Volvo Penta IPS drive motors. And down three steps, we have the Island Pilot 435 eat-in galley. This is a real nice feature of the one stateroom. It's a nice big space. It's brightly lit from the windscreen, plenty of headroom, and it's fitted with top-of-the-line appliances. We have a GE Advania microwave speed cook oven and a Seaward radiant cooktop. And forward, we have a nice little dinette. Room for two, maybe three to have coffee in the morning, sit with your laptop, watch TV, read the morning paper, and the table drops down, making a nice little berth for either the grandkids or your Labrador Retriever. One thing that Island Pilot does that no one else does is we import our own very high-tech Japanese refrigerator freezers. This unit here has got one door up high where it's easy to get at all your foodstuffs. It's got polycarbonate shelves and bins. And then it has a crisper drawer with a slide out bin. Below that is an ice maker drawer. And next to that is a quick freeze drawer to put your steaks in and get them frozen quickly. And below that is your deep freeze. And in the port forward corner of the one stateroom kitchen galley, we have storage under the counter. This storage can also be used for the washer dryer. It's up to the owner to choose where we put the washer dryer another flat screen TV, and of course the door into the master stateroom. Both the one stateroom and the two stateroom versions share the same main head. It's a nice roomy space to port with a stall, shower, plenty of room in there to, for even me when I'm six foot five. Nice uh, solid countertop with, with molded in sink and of course the Sealand vacuum flush toilet system. This is the two stateroom version of the Island Pilot 435. What we've done here is bring the galley up into the deck house, rearrange the helm somewhat, and in the space where we have the galley on the one stateroom boat, we have added an entire second stateroom and a half head for the master. Starting here, we have the same L-shaped settee. It makes into a double berth in pretty much the same way, a little different. We use a uh, little different table configuration with an electric high-low uh, uh, pedestal uh, that goes down and becomes part of the berth, and as opposed to having the whole berth pull out, it makes into a nice double. Uh, under the deck house of both versions, we have something quite unique to the Island Pilots, and that is a basement. This unique space gives you so much storage for the real cruising couple and there's easy access to all the ship's equipment, the uh, systems, uh, because they are not jammed in around the motors. Since we cannot rotate the helm chairs on the two stateroom versions, they do not become part of the conversation area, we've added a love seat. And since the love seat went into the spot where we had the entertainment center on the one stateroom version, we have now hidden the entertainment center underneath the love seat. Then over in the same spot as on the other boat, we have the electric panel 
and uh, we also have one wine locker rather than two. And tucked away in the corner, we have a nice little timbre door hiding a liquor locker. And what we've done in the two stateroom version is we've raised the helm floor and then put a pair of the same sports car bucket seats that we use on the one stateroom only on a fixed piece of furniture. They slide fore and aft, they have complete tilt and give you the exact same driving position as we have on the one stateroom with the same great vista out the forward windscreen. One of the fabulous things about the Volvo Penta IPS drive is its joystick. The joystick takes away all anxiety when maneuvering in tight situations. To go forward, you push forward. To go backward, you pull it backwards. It will steer in forward or reverse. And if you need to go sideways into a boat slip, just push it off to the side. The more you push, the more thrust. And if that thrust isn't enough, put it in high power mode and you get more thrust. We've actually moved these boats sideways into a 25 knot wind. Off to port on the two-stateroom version of the Island Pilot 435, we have the galley, galley up. We use the same Seaward Radiant cooktop, same solid surface countertops, good storage, but we've had to replace our Japanese refrigerator freezers with Italian vitrifriga drawer style. We found that these to be the best on the market in the size that would fit under our cooktop. And then off to starboard under the helm chair, we have the same Advantium microwave speed cook oven in a form, different form factor. This particular form factor is designed as a wall unit. And in the two stateroom uh, Island Pilot 435, we replaced the galley with a delightful study guest getaway room. What we've done here is we have an L-shaped settee that slides out and makes into a double berth, much the same as on the other boats. And we have added a little, another flat screen TV and it hinges down, becomes a little secretary, place for your laptop. Just forward of the study, in the hallway space, we have the pantry. Since the uh, two stateroom version has a relatively small galley in the deck house, we needed space to store the extra stuff. So we use the same Vitrofrigo freezers uh, down here. The two drawer freezers, very efficient, very high tech, absolutely delightful units. And we put storage to starboard here for your pantry. And we use this area here as a linen closet. And then forward to that is, of course, the master stateroom. Now, the two stateroom master is a virtually identical to the one stateroom master except for the fact that we have added a one-half head off to starboard. Out on the back deck, we have something quite unique to the Island Pilot 435. Our motors are back here. The noise is back here. The access to the motors is back here, not through the accommodation. The result to the owner is easy access and an uncluttered machinery space. All three hatches open up, giving unexcelled access to the Volvo uh, Penta IPS 600 drive. We put nothing back in the engine room that, unless it's directly related to the operation of the motors. We've got the generator in its hush shield, we got the two motors, their fuel system, the battery starting system, their exhaust system, and that's it. And up here is the Island Pilot flybridge. Since the Island Pilot essentially is a very uh, sporty boat, we've kept to a very minimal flybridge. It's suitable for seating six. We've got bucket seats that hold you in place. So when you are driving along at uh, 33 knots, you, are, you feel secure. Uh, the Bimini top is standard, full complement of the same Raymarine electronics, and of course we still have got the IPS joystick up here. On the boat deck, we have room for an 11 foot uh, rigid bottom inflatable, again standard equipment, which also comes with a 9.9 four stroke outboard motor. We uh, fit the boat with a boom, which uh, during the day acts as our flagpole. Uh, it's got a uh, 3,000 pound winch motor on it, and so it's a relatively easy procedure to get the dink on and off the boat. We want to thank you for taking the time to view this short little video presentation of the Island Pilot. And if you'll take a few minutes to go visit our website, islandpilot.com, you'll find much, much more information.